Finish and he got it. My God. But you got to remember, he has done this same combination. I can't believe we forgot about yes. it. Yes. He has got multiple people out with him. He shows you that left. Well, Kamar Usman at the two minute mark. DC, you said he's not going to coast, right? Yes. He's not going to circle and sit on the lead. He paid the ultimate price with his world title. He absolutely did. But if we go back to the replay, I think Rocky was actually going forward. It was one of those instances in which he had Kamaru going backwards a little bit. I mean, what a tremendous moment for Leon Rocky Edwards. And it's crazy because you see the thrill on one side and the agony on the other. I mean, Kamaru Usman is less than two minutes from defending the championship. And he gets knocked out stiff. And get the black and gold for Leon Edwards. For Kamar Usman, this will certainly be a tough pill to swallow. Trying to get some clarity from his great coach, Trevor Whitman. But Anderson Silva's record remains. And Usman still trying to clear the cobwebs and find out what happened. But Leon Edwards becomes the first Jamaican-born UFC champion. And the proof is in the pudding. You don't have to leave the UK to realize a UFC world title. The belt wheels up to Birmingham tomorrow as Leon Edwards breaks through here in Salt Lake City, Utah. What a sport. What a moment. There will be no moral victories tonight for Leon Edwards. A championship highlight that will withstand the test of time for his mom, brother Fabian in his corner, Leon Edwards, world champion. Leon also said going in that he was expectant that he would have to beat him twice. Yeah. Beat him once tonight to make it official. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout.
Beautiful. I want to say, first of all, thank God. Jane, I love you, Mum, I love you. I told you I'd do for you, Mum. I told you I'd change your fucking life. I told you I'd do it. Now look at me now. Leon, what did it feel like? The moment you landed that kick and the moment you saw him drop and you knew you did it, what was that like? I, was, I can't explain it, Joe. God is on my side. I said it all week. I felt like this is my moment. Everything happened in the past. The two years out, the pandemic, all of it. They all said I couldn't come back and do it. There is no ring rust. I told you that already. Now look at me now. The champion of the world, soldier. The champion of the world. The champion of the world, look at me now. I was born in Jamaica with nothing. I live in a wooden shed, zinc roof. Look at me now. Look at me now, strap season. We got it, baby. You did it, Leon. You accomplished one of the most difficult things in all of combat sports against the best guy in the world. Congratulations, sir. You are the welterweight champion of the world. Thank you, Joe. Moment. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you to the USA for giving the kid that was born with nothing opportunity to be something. Thank you. It was an honor to call your fight. Congratulations. The champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Leon Edwards. That post fight interview was brought to you by Beach Chain, the official layer one blockchain of UFC. Print the shirts. Look at me now. What a moment for Leon Edwards. This is what it's all about. And I know I speak for the MMA masses who feel very good for the brick breaking through tonight. First Jamaican born UFC champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Look at him go! Does it. And he's excited, man. And oh you my hear God. The, and here, the Rocky theme is playing in the background. Yes! Because that's what it was. Yes! It was like a movie. It was like a movie. We were counting him out. Dude. We were thinking he was going to lose the decision. Kamara was dominating. Yes. He was controlling the rounds. Bro, the timing was the Rocky theme. Oh, my God.